Hi everyone, my name is Alex Salgado. I'm a developer advocate at Elastic, and today we will execute this blog to learn more about image search. So let's get started. This is our blog, and we will walk through it step by step. To run our blog's code, we will need Elastic database. So type elastic.co here and you can can use the free trial version. We'll need a uh, Jupyter Notebook environment so you can type collab.research.google.com and we will use this environment for programming in Python. And our source code you can click here in our blog and get this URL. Select GitHub, put here. And we are ready to start our code. As you can see, all the code and explanation about the blog are here, but we will use the Jupyter Notebook Python source code that you have loaded here for our explanation. But before I started, I would like to a uh, brief moment of theory. We are already familiar with Elasticsearch for its high search textual capabilities, but now we are in the vector search area, so important in the age of artificial intelligence, and you can find more information in our documentation. So what is important to know that now we can go beyond text search. We now will make search in the vector space. So to make this vector search possible, we need first to vectorize our information to be searched. This way, we can store different modalities like images, ages, videos in a vector form. And after we can make search based on this vector representation. It's why we will do using a vector representation of images. To illustrate our scenario, we use the case study of finding your pup with image search. So the scenario is Luigi got lost and the dog was found by, by no person. So this person assessed an image search system with recognize Luigi and his owner. After that, using our search image application, Luigi was returning to this warning and we have a half hand history. So to make this history possible, we created this architecture. The idea here is to create a kind of MVC pattern just to reuse the, the codes, not mandatory. And we will have a image as our object to search. And around this, this code, we will try to find this image inside our Elastic Search da database. To generate the vector represent the image, we will use this clip model. It's a kind of machine learning model that needs 512 dimensions to represent image in a vector space. You can find this model inside different platform. We use Rugin Face. So for the most similarity search application, we will need two key phases. One for embedding generation for indexing, when we create rep vector representation of your, our data and another to make the retrieval 
around our data that are embedded inside our vector database. Therefore, a key important element that you need to understand is the vector or what you commonly call an embedding. So here is a visual example of vector representation using one dimension on the x-axis, another, and here another representation using y-axis. And this is how you build our vector representation and classify our data. In our case, we use the image vector space to represent our vector space. In case of clip mode, we use five, 512 dimensions. So for example, you can see here a picture of uh, a lost dog, and we try to compare using KNN cosine similarity and find where this this picture is similar to the other one that are indexed in our Elasticsearch vector database. So let's go back to our blog code and run it step by step. Now in our Jupyter notebook environment, let's run the code. You can run the code clicking this play button or just pressing shift and return. Google sign in. You need to be logged in order to run your code. Since we will need some images, we will download it in this GitHub address. At this moment, you can check if this folder was created, image search 01, and here is our data set. We use these dogs to index our database, and this one to find the lost dog, okay? So every time that you need some image, we will refer to this one. Now it's time to install some packets. Pillow is to manipulate the image, sentence transform to use our clip model and Elasticsearch to create connection with Elasticsearch. As I showed you before, we organized our code in some classes to better reuse the code. So the first one will be Util class to manipulate connection with the Elasticsearch. After we use repository to, to communicate with database, the dog class, a type of getting setter, and finally dog server that will communicate between the client and controller. Okay, so in the Util class, I created these two, my method to connect, and to connect the Elasticsearch, we will need the cloud ID, the username and password that was generated when, you, when we create our Elastic database. An important option here is to store our image embedding. We need the dense vector that uses this number of dimensions, and we will use this kind of similarity comparison. And the other field that you need to index the, the data. Okay. When I press to run this cell, nothing appear, but this class has been read to use in our 
memory. So here is our talk class that you do the getting setter tasks and also instantiate, instantiate our clip model. Let's run. Now is the time of doc dog repository class that you communicate with our index in Elasticsearch and I've created the insert and search methods that we need to do the vector search. Here is our dog server class. It's a way to isolate the view layer from the controller layer from the model layer. So the service will bring the, the picture, the image from the lost dog and send to our image search method to retrieve the information that are similar to our Kitty image. Okay, now that you have our class loaded in the memory, let's run the code. The first phase is to create a connection and delete the delete some old index if we have one. Run this code. We need to enter the cloud ID if you don't know where where to find your cloud ID, go to Elasticsearch, click here, search overview, and you have cloud ID here ready to use. I will copy it and paste here. Username, Elastic, and the password, in my case, is here and with the cloud ID username and password you can run the connection code everything seems to be okay now we will try to instantiate the repository and service class okay import some classes to show the image and here we have our first image to to index it this image came from here that I show you for it's the image of Luigi just to show you let's run this cell and here the Luigi now let's pass the Luigi data to the dog class. So the name, the file name, where it was localized. What's the breed of the Luigi and its owner. With this class has the dog Press the dog will call the insert method. We call the insert method inside repository. Insert method inside the repository. And to insert, we need first to generate the embed of that image. And this is what is done here. And after that, we call ES client index to insert our first data. Let's run it. At this moment, we can check if the data, the first hashes, is already in the database. 
let's check go here and dev tools and make this search and here you can realize that you have one hester here is our embedding that you can see here so you have inserted our first hashes of read the image about that the bridge the embedding that was generated from clip model and the one and name Uli. okay so let's keep with the other rest that you have in our data set We've created a code to, to join this data in a JSON collection and call the same register dog. Now, if you run the same query, you can see that now we have 10 values. Here, here, Luigi, Buddy, Bella. Okay, so everything's fine. Let's visualize the, the dog. Here is some code just to visualize it. What what you have in our database? So we have this one. Okay, as I said before we have two phases one to insert the data and generate embedding vector representation and now that you have all the the data represented in the vector database we run some query to find some some dogs using just image for that so we use these new image of a dog that are lost you can find this file here, representing a lost dog in the street and a people take, took a photo and try to find this dog inside our vector database. This is the photo. So just to display the dog in our environment, and okay, we have a file name, just a file name here. And you try to find our dog, just use the image for that. F, and if everything's gone okay, the results came into this result variable. And you can find information inside this object here so let's paint the results and you find that image so you can look that with using this image we found that that similar each other so you can see the other attributes rested in our database and you can see the these lost dogs this is Luigi, this breed and the owner name so now that you identify the owner of Luigi, you can call Uli and tell that the Luigi is found again here just a image from only it's a real image when you bring Luigi to Alaska office. So thank you very much for your attention. Happy coding with this blog and bye.